And now I would like to bring back Steve to the stage, the president of the Seeds Network. So uh, Steve, we saw in that video earlier that you mentioned that mentoring is a very important thing that you have here at the Seeds. So tell me why, what your mentoring program is all about. Yes, actually, uh, indeed, uh, mentoring is uh, one of the main programs that we started in, uh, in, on, also in Seeds. And uh, we and our partner locally, we uh, decided to give this mentoring program a name. Mm -hmm. The name is Nabico. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you, you can imagine no, what it means. No, I can't. No. You can't not? <laughs> I cannot. But let's, let's give me some, a few hints. Mm -hmm. So it's a combination of two words, mm -hmm. uh, Nabi mm -hmm. and Eko. Mm -hmm. So the first word is, uh, means in a, in a Cameroonian language, Pamilike, means uh, arrange, make it suitable. Mm -hmm. And the second name, Eko, is in Yoruba, is having to do with education. Mm -hmm. So this is actually what we are doing in our mentoring program. So we are exchanging knowledge. We are bringing all the, the pieces together in order to build the ground for sustainable development in Africa. So this is actually what we are targeting to do, what we are following, the kind of things that we are doing. And uh, I think we, as I mentioned already, I think uh, we, uh, images talks more than words. So then we have something to look at now. Then, uh, yeah. Hi, Steve. How are you? Hi, Blandine. I'm fine. And you? I'm fine, too. I'm really happy that we're here today and then we can present the result of the Navigo Mentoring Program. But before we go deep inside of the result of that program, will you give us a broader view of why we launched the program? Yes, of course. You know, uh, by SEED, we started with an African vision. So our vision is actually to unleash the African potential by promoting leadership and entrepreneurship. And uh, for that vision, we started in Cameroon. And let me share with you some few facts about Cameroon. The first one will be 209,000. That is the number of company that we have as of today in Cameroon. And uh, it is uh, more than two times uh, 10 years ago. And uh, even in 2019, there have been 14,000 that have been created. That is uh, oh. enormous and there is a dynamic that is really incredible. Yeah. On the other side, we, when we look at the migrant in, uh, from coming from Cameroon in Germany, we are talking about 32,000 people living, living, living here in Germany. And uh, it's, uh, one third of them are students, professionals uh, that are living and working here, a lot of knowledge, ha that are having a lot of knowledge that can be very useful for, uh, for their continent of origin or for their country of origin. Mm -hmm. And the third one is uh, really the one that I, I love the most. So it's 14.2 million dollars that are transferred every year, at least in 2019, from Germany, from the migrants in Germany towards Cameroon. Oh, this is a lot, it is a lot of money. Yes. And uh, looking at those three entities together, we decided, let's say, to, to build a bridge, to bring all those people together and uh, to unleash the potential of, uh, of the Africans, of the great, people in Cameroon. Great idea. So then let's talk about how we run, we run the project. Yes, um, so the Nabico project was run between SEEDS, uh, the, our association, and Obotama based mm -hmm. in Cameroon. They were on, not only the members of SEEDS, but also mentors that were yeah. friends of SEEDS that decided to volunteer to give their time to coach that company. So together we had meetings where we developed uh, criteria for a call of, for application. Mm -hmm. There were many startups that applied. We defined selection criteria. Yeah. At the end, there were ten that joined us for five days boot camp in Yaoundé. Yeah, very so intensive was, time. Yes, <laughs> that was really great because it gave us the opportunity to meet mm -hmm. together, to get to know, to have a deep insight in the businesses, and at the end also to be able to decide which mentors would fit well with yeah. which company. Mm -hmm. At, after these five days of bootcamp in Yaoundé, we uh, continue into uh, eight months mentoring. Mm -hmm. uh, so between startups and, uh, and mentors, at, and at the end, there were two companies that were presented to um, to business angels because yeah. they were ready for to get financing mm -hmm. and today it's the closing of that event but maybe tell, tell us more about the profile of the company that participated to the to this 
mentoring program? Yeah, that's, that's, one good, that's a good question, a good point. But before moving to that, I would like again uh, to point out a bit that uh, we, are not been, uh, we have not been working alone in this project. So we have been, many, uh, Blantin mentioned already Obutama as our yes. partner in Cameroon and incubator in Yaoundé. And uh, also with uh, Steam GIZ, that was our financing partner. Yes, that's why right, because and, our uh, program that yes. really helped us to to bring all those things on the road. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have been working with ten startups, a very diverse environment. So people coming from um, four region of Cameroon, Marwa, Bangante, Douala, and Yaoundé, mm -hmm. and also people acting in very different areas. So e-commerce, agriculture, Internet of Things, uh, biotechnology, e-health. So those are all the areas that were covered by the people that, uh, that have been joining the program. I hope there were also gender variations. Yes, of course. So we had uh, at actually 20% of, uh, of the entrepreneur was women joining the bootcamp. Right. And uh, we had a lot of students and new graduates, 60%. And um, also, um, let's say, mature and unmature products. So startup having already products on the market, mm -hmm. but startup also just at the level of creating their prototype. Okay. And uh, the, whole, the only thing that was common on those person was that they were all in the age between 20 and 30 years. Oh, old that's and right. uh, yeah, young, as a young people that were really willing to um, to join us in the program and to, to, to learn together with us, yeah? Okay. I mean, I remember you were one of the mentors in and maybe you can tell us about uh, how the profile of the mentors was. Yes, so, uh, we had also a chance that given the diversity of the startup participating, there were also diverse profiles in the mentors. So we had mentors specialized in strategic consulting and mm -hmm. marketing, for example, that was really important for companies that were launching their product. Yeah. But we also had mentors specialized in engineering, in IT or in healthcare. Yeah. And that was the mentor that really fit to the companies that were uh, developing their prototype. Yeah. I remember we did a lot of uh, things around design thinking also. Yes, the mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> that was, we have a great, uh, great uh, idea that we shared the, mm -hmm. the, with, with them. Yes. And um, the mentors are from different nationalities. We have Cameroonian, but we also have from Ivory Coast and from Nigeria. And these mentors live most, for the most part abroad. So mm -hmm. in Germany, in France, in Switzerland, in the USA. Mm -hmm. And we also had for the startup that were in some kind of pre-incubation phase, we assigned them to mentors. We, we were working with Obotama, our local partner, mm -hmm. and we were living in Cameroon. But now tell us, how well did Startup uh, appreciate this program? Yeah, that was a, a, a question that we also asked ourselves. And uh, that was the reason why we run this, uh, let's say, survey at the end mm -hmm. of the program with uh, the startups and the mentors. And the results are quite interesting. So um, if we look at the startup perspective of it, we see that uh, they, are, they are almost uh, 90% of the, of the startup that uh, say that they are satisfied with the result. Of course, there are still the remaining part that, that, did not, uh, that was not satisfied, but it's also an indication that uh, we are not perfect and yes. there is still room for improvement and mm -hmm. we are also looking for that. The most interesting was that 80% uh, of those startups actually say that uh, their expectations have been uh, met or overachieved. Oh, and this is, a, this is a great result because uh, we see that uh, they, they receive what they expect out of the program. Mm -hmm. And if we look deeper into the, into the various areas of activities of those startups, mm -hmm. we'll see that uh, in terms of uh, business model, they reported that uh, uh, there have been some improvement in their, in their business uh, in terms of uh, product quality and uh, service quality. They have been improving mm -hmm. also a lot. And there are some areas where there is still room for improvement. If we talk, for example, about uh, um, the, the financing, the financial results of those startups, so there are things that need, still need to be uh, to be improved. If we talk about their positioning again, the competitors, so there yes. are also areas that uh, still need to improve. But that I hope that they will also get uh, with the business engine that are coming um, yes, later that on. We hope so. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so, but so that was the view of the startup. So how? was the view of the mentors. Does it fit to that? Yes, it's, well, actually it fits to that because 100% of the mentors will do it again. So oh, that's, that's really a statement. They were happy and they were uh, 
happy that the, the objective that were fixed at the beginning of the mentoring were for the most part of them achieved mm -hmm. and uh, the startup also developed in the way that we that we had planned not 100% but a, a great percentage mm -hmm. so that was uh, really good but now can you tell me were, were there any success story at the end of that mentoring? Yeah, I mean, we, we were really happy uh, with, uh, with some of our startups that, uh, that were actually joining the project. For example, uh, with uh, Book Book Shop, that is a platform for delivery and uh, rental yes, and exchange. Yes, I was one of the mentors there. Yeah, that was uh, <laughs> your startup you were mentoring. And it uh, was great to see that uh, in September 2020, they mm -hmm. have been awarded uh, with the Orange Prize for uh, Social and Entrepreneurship Impact in, in Africa. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is something that is that I think that is great. It's not a financial result, but at least, uh, um, let's say, a confirmation that uh, on the of the impact that they do have in the in the ecosystem. Yes. Also, with uh, with WeCare, uh, that is also one of the startups that have been uh, afterward connected to the to the business angel. Mm -hmm. They have been able to um, to raise up, uh, let's say, through crowdfunding. Uh, with the platform uh, fiatop.com, uh, they have been able to, to reach 100% of the target and raise some, 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 some financing over this platform. That's also a great result because then we, we see that there are also a lot of people that looking at what they are doing and, uh, and then see that uh, what they are doing are bringing value. So that's yeah. a, one of the, the key results that we are that yeah. we achieve. And, uh, I'm also we are happy, happy because both of these companies are really impact company so mm -hmm. they are in education or in healthcare yeah. that's also what one of the things that are really important in such a program yeah good looking forward what do we learn out of it we learn a lot uh, maybe i will start with the perspective of the startups mm -hmm. we learned that um, it's important to focus on the market so to identify who are the key customer and to address them with all the energy that we have. Yeah. So that is something that we really learned with our mentors that were specialized in marketing and in business strategic. Yeah. And we also learned that uh, it's important to find the right business model mm -hmm. and to stick on to it. Yeah, it seems to be key in, in yes, Africa. Yeah. For, because we don't have a lot of means to address everyone. Yeah. And we also have learnings from the mentor side that was the first learning is that this Nabico program was free. So we didn't really route a big financing part, but we learned that in our local environment, mm -hmm. it, it is key to, to align mentoring and financing. So mm -hmm. that is one of the, the points that we will take as result, as a uh, as challenge for maybe a next session and we also as mentors we were also uh, happy to share because we didn't teach the startup how to make their business but we do, we just brought to them the, the things that are working well here abroad and we we adapt that to the local challenges so yeah, that was great. really an uh, interesting and also for us something new yeah making a win-win situation yes yeah. of course <laughs> and now what is next with yeah i mean just imagine that now i say that we stop everything so you imagine that the hundred percent of mentors that would like to join us again will be very uh, unhappy be sad. and sad and <laughs> myself i will also be unhappy about that so we do definitely or we want to do a second edition and uh, what we are let's say the focus area that we are targeting to to address will be First of all, to, to improve the, the diversity of the profile of the mentor. So I think uh, we can we need much more profile within the program. And uh, the second thing will be to standardize our way of uh, doing mentoring and expand the program to more African countries. Uh, we can go in the direction, we are thinking about the direction of Arikos or Gabon, for example. Mm -hmm. And the third thing that we, are, that we like to address will be um, let's say to promote the, the transformation and the made in Africa, because through that, yeah, I believe that we'll be able to reach the whole world. Yeah. And uh, the final one will be also to, 
to promote solutions that are reducing inequalities, bringing more diversity in the society. That's so those are the kind work. of things that we like also to address with our with the next edition of the of the program. Oh, well, thank you very much, Steve. Yeah. And now we would like to hear from you. What do you think about this program? Do you have some ideas? We will have. We would like to have your feedback on that. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you so much, Blondine. Thank you, Steve, for telling us about the mentoring program and also the survey that you conducted to see whether people are happy with the mentoring program and how successful it has been so far. Just a quick reminder to everybody that we are still waiting for you to take part in our survey. Some people have already clicked through the questions and we're seeing results come in, but we would like, of course, everybody to participate. So you still have the time, go to menti.com. The information has also been sent out in the chat so you can go to the website, use the code, and then please answer the few questions that we have asked you. Now we're gonna go over to the breakout rooms and Steve, this is also something that is very important to you that people really get a chance to discuss in smaller groups about different issues. So what are you hoping will happen in these breakout rooms today? I mean, I, I personally believe that today will be uh, an inspiring day. For everybody that is today in this Zoom meeting, this conference, today will be an inspiring day. And uh, I really expect that, uh, that we get challenged each other in the breaking rooms, that uh, you people that have not been involved into, the, into, the, into our program challenge our people, our mentors that will be let's say, driving the, the, the breakout rooms and also the mentors will challenge you and that we get challenged to each other because I believe that only through challenge we'll be able to do more. Mm -hmm. This is what I expect then out of the breakout rooms. All right, so we're expecting very lively discussions in the rooms right now. The discussions will take place for 15 minutes. Um, we have three different questions that we are asking or that will be answered in each separate breakout room. You can't choose where you want to go. We will automatically send you to one of the rooms because we want to avoid one room being overcrowded yeah. and another one maybe having very of few course, people. Yeah. And also it's a technical <laughs> issue. That's why um, just allow yourself to be surprised, <laughs> see where you'll end up in. Um, this is also the time to get your headset if you haven't done so, so that we have a good sound quality. Mm -hmm. um, we have three mentors or moderators who will be leading the discussion. And then we will meet again right here in 15 minutes. But now I want to give the floor to the three moderators to tell us about their topics. I'm Jules Kegi, a Cameroonian of origin, who lives in Hamburg and who has been very happy and, and pleased to be part of the Nabico program as a mentor. It was also a pleasure to see the level of engagement and passion we have in the area of entrepreneurship in Africa. Based on this, I would like you to share your thoughts on which incentives should be put in place to enable and achieve even greater level of entrepreneurship and self-empowerment. So what can each of us do to unfold this potential we have in Africa? I'm looking forward for a great conversation with you. Thank you. Hello, good afternoon. I am Patrice Papdo. I am one of the Nabico mentors. Now in the breakout session, we are going to discuss about different aspects of the Nabico program. One of the aspects that I will discuss with you is the mentoring experience. I talk here about experience because, you know, when you are a mentor, you of course share your experience, you share your expertise, you share your knowledge, but you also receive a lot from the startups, you know, and this is something that was for me a life changing experience. And I would really like to discuss with you in our breakout session about this experience and really see how, you know, we can all leverage this and how you can be part of this journey. Thank you and see you.
And we are back. And I see that I need to move a little bit so that you can see everything that is happening here on my left. Right. So the breakout sessions just finished. I hope you had the lively discussions that Steve and the other organizers were hoping for. I hope that you were able to exchange ideas and also maybe debate a little bit because you don't have to agree with everything that the other participants are saying. And now I already see my dear moderators, they are waiting to give us a summary of what has been discussed because of course if you are in the breakout room number one then you don't know what was going on in room number two and number three so for that purpose we want the moderators to each tell us what the discussion was like and what the main points were and just a warning it is just one minute that i'm allowing you to speak so please keep it short um, because we also after that want to move on to the next point so i want to start with you thierry you have one minute. Please tell us what was being discussed. Does everyone hear me well? Excellent. Well, we share experience about investing in Africa and um, the, the, the takeaway uh, we, we, we get is that um, the, the spectrum of success is very large. Uh, things can go very good and very bad. And um, people are deep into serving community during in, the, in their investment. It's a key point. And the process they are going through the investment is often about personal relationship. And uh, we also share, we didn't have to deep dive in, but we also share about the importance of building a due diligence model before investing, uh, taking time to observe, to analyze, to get the confirmation about the, 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 the seriousness of the, 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 the involvement of the, the founders and have um, due diligence, a strong due diligence in order to reduce the risk before jumping into the investment. The investment. Thank you very much, Thierry. So those were the three main points that were discussed in your group there. Thank you for summarizing that for us. And of course, everybody who's watching, the discussion can continue in the chat. If you have like some follow-up questions that you want to discuss with the mentors or with the other participants, then please use the chat because that is the forum where we can continue exchanging ideas. And now I want to move on to Jules. Please tell us what happened in your breakout room. Yeah, th thanks Liz for uh, sharing. Actually, we had a quite engaged discussion in the group. Uh, and I would, if I would summarize it, I would say the uh, discussion turned around setting the foundation, actually to bringing idea to life. And there were some element of it. Uh, one element of it was around uh, investing in the early education, education in the technicalities, uh, meaning the tools, um, mastering, uh, uh, engineering uh, knowledge and uh, leveraging actually the potential we have abroad uh, uh, to support the student, be it the master program or the early bachelor program, to uh, learn to become even better than ourselves. So it, it starts from a mindset, uh, from a mental perspective in developing order to becoming even better than ourselves. This was one element. And university being one of the uh, pillars uh, to achieve this uh, education. The second uh, feedback, which was um, uh, mentioned quite a lot in the, the discussion, was around developing not only the technicalities, but also the mindset. Because being an entrepreneur means also um, having a certain type of mindset. It's, it's about managing a company, creating a company. It's about uh, 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 developing the, the way of working, which uh, actually can create this new value. And, and the last one, um, and I really would really, really like to close with that, uh, it was also about actually inspiring order. Because uh, one, a, one of the ladies in the call just mentioned was that you cannot dream about something you have never seen. And we have the, the, the opportunity of having many, uh, uh, many um, people around the world and they can leverage what they have seen abroad to inspire order in, in, in Africa and let them even dream even, and, uh, even better. So I would say about education, about entrepreneurship mindset, but also about enabling the dreams. 
Thank you so much, Jules. And of course, that is an invitation to everybody watching that you can participate and you can be that kind of uh, mentor and that kind of leader that uh, the people are looking for. And finally, I want to turn, and I need to move again a little bit so that people can see you. Papdo, what did you discuss? And again, it's just one minute, please. I hope we can hear you. Okay, mm -hmm. now. Oh, sure. Go okay, ahead. great. No, I say that, I mean, uh, it was a nice discussion. The time was a bit short. I mean, 15 minutes for such a discussion. We took time for a presentation because we wanted to know each other before starting. And then, you know, at the end, it was not that much. But nevertheless, we could, uh, we could get some, some ideas, not as much as, as we have loved to get, but we got some ideas. And one of the topics was in terms of mentoring experience. They said that one of the key things is really to set the right expectation at the beginning. You know, to set the right expectation, to define a, a clear plan of action, to define, let's say, a roadmap to be sure that, you know, at the beginning, the mentor and the mentor team knows exactly what they, are, they can expect from this, from this program. So that was one of the key uh, elements. And the second element that came out of discussion was to, to involve experience from the country, from the ground, you know, saying that, you know, having the entrepreneurial experience or having expertise in, in Europe or in the US is not the same thing than Cameroon. You cannot only, tr only translate, you know, what you have learned abroad to Cameroon because the reality is not the same. You know, people don't have the same thing. I mean, the, the environment, all this, the ecosystem is not the same. So you cannot only translate it that way. So the idea to make it even more interesting and win-win situation for both is really to also get people from Cameroon more involved, people who are on the ground, so that they can really also bring their own experience into the, the mentoring. Thank you so much, Pabdo. Thank you to the three of you. The fourth person you are seeing there is Gael. She's also one of the founders. Hi, Gael. Um, we won't hear of her now. We won't hear from her now. She was just there because we needed a fourth person to fill out those four windows, but we'll hear from her a bit later. All right, thank you very much and thanks to everybody for being part of the discussions. And of course, as I said, please, the discussions can continue in the chat. 